हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर डीएचसीपी ऑन राउटर फॉर मल्टीपल वीलैंस राइट सपोज वी हैव यूजर इन मल्टीपल वीलैन एंड वी नीड टू कॉन्फ़िगर a dhcp service on router so today in this video we will you will learn how to configure dhcp on router as you already know how to configure dhcp on router right i have already make one video on it but today we are going to learn how to configure dhcp on router for multiple vlans right so in last video we had discussed that how to enable dhcp on router for a single vlan so today we are going to understand how to configure dhcp for multiple vlans so first of all as you can see in my topology there are two computers in vlan 10 and there are two computers in vlan 20 right these all computers are connected through one switch right so here we will create vlan here we will assign these two ports in vlan 20 and these two sorry in vlan 10 and these two ports in vlan 20 i will configure this port as a trunk port here on the router we need to create sub interface so here we will create i will create two sub interface and i will configure dhcp services for both vlan and here you can see network for vlan 10 is 192.168.10.0/24 and network for vlan 20 is 192.168.20.0/24 so let's start configuration from switch first of all i am going to configure this switch so let me take access okay so here first thing that we need to configure on this switch is we need to create vlan here so go to configure terminal mode after that vlan 10 suppose name age a uh, vlan 10 right now we need to create vlan 20 here so vlan 20 name is vlan 20 right now we are going to assign these two ports in vlan 10 so ethernet 1/0 to ethernet 1/1 we are going to assign in vlan 10 so interface range ethernet 1 slash 0 21 and switch port mode access definitely then switch port access vlan 10 in the same way interface range e 1 slash 2 3 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 20 fine now you can verify so a vlan brief here you can see these two ports are member of vlan 10 and these two ports are member of vlan 20 fine now i am going to configure e0/0 on switch to trunk port again go to config t after that interface e 0/0 and switch port mode trunk fine and encapsulation here we can define switch port trunk encapsulation suppose encapsulation protocol as you know we have two types of encapsulation protocol first one is dot 1q and second one is isl so here you can see we have three option either you can configure dot 1q either you can configure isl or auto this one is negotiation right so with the help of negotiation it switch will decide that which protocol i will use on this port so here i am going to define dot 1q encapsulation protocol right now guys configuration of switch is done let me save the configuration and now i am going to configure router so let me take access of router first of all here i am going to configure dhcp right for vlan 10 and for vlan 20 so definitely we need two network just wait guys it will take few second okay now go to config t after that ip dhcp first of all let me 
exclude one IP address that I will assign on uh, the default gateway interface. So 192.168.10.1, right? After that, IP DHCP pool. Suppose pool name of this DHCP service is VLAN 10. And here I am going to define network 192.168.10.0 submit mask 255.255.255.0 and default router is 192.168.10.1. This IP address I will configure on the sub interface of this router, right? We will create two sub interface for VLAN 10 and for VLAN, one for VLAN 10 and one for VLAN 20. So on the sub interface which I will create for VLAN 10 on that interface I will run this IP address right and that will become default gateway for all the user who is sitting in VLAN 10 okay now let me exclude one more DHCP one more IP address from DHCP server so IP DHCP again exclude 192.168.20.1 this time I am excluding first IP address from second network and IP DHCP network okay sorry pool and this time pool is pool name is suppose VLAN 20 right and then network 192.168.20.0 255.255.255.0 and default router is 192.168.20.1 now interface f0 slash 0 here we need to run no set command only here I am not going to configure any IP address on the physical interface right so now I am going to create logical interface on this router so interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 okay so suppose this one is my first virtual interface on this router so here first thing that you need to configure is encapsulation protocol so encapsulation protocol that I will configure here is dot one Q encapsulation dot one Q for which VLAN for VLAN 10 in the same way here now I can assign IP address as well so 192.168.10.1 is my IP address for this interface and this IP address will become default gateway for the user who is sitting in this VLAN right so that's why I have defined default gateway uh, this one uh, in DHCP okay now let me create one more sub interface over here 0 slash 0 dot 2 and this time IP address first of all let me uh, configure encapsulation protocol dot 1q for VLAN 20 and then IP address is 192.168.20.1 255.255.255.0 okay now guys configuration of router is also done now let me save the configuration done okay now here on this PC I am going to assign IP address so see first of all on this PC this PC should get IP address from which VLAN from VLAN 10 so here IP DHCP C definitely this PC will get IP address from VLAN 10 so Dora okay done see IP address is 192.168.10.2 slash 24 and gateway is 192.168.10.1 can I ping my gateway 192.168.10.2 or 10.1 sorry so yes I am able to ping my gateway right can I ping okay just wait first of all let me assign IP address on other machines so on this machine on PC4 this machine will also get IP address from VLAN 20 IP DHCP see this machine will also get IP address from VLAN 10 not from VLAN 20 so C 192.168.10.3 slash 24 and gateway is 192.168.10.1 right now this PC will get IP address from 
PC5 will get IP address from VLAN 20. So let me check here. And IP DHCP. C. This machine will get IP address from 20's network. See here IP address is 192.168.20.2 and gateway is 192.168.20.1. Can I ping my gateway? 192.168.20.1. Yes. See I am able to ping my gateway. Now let me assign IP address on PC 6. IP DHCP. So this machine will also get IP address from 20 network. Now what do you think that can user who is sitting in VLAN 10 can ping the user who is sitting in VLAN 20? What do you think guys? See what will happen if this PC now from PC number 3 which is member of VLAN 10 I am able to ping my default gateway? Yes I am able to ping my default gateway. So can I ping the PC who is member of VLAN 20 192.168.20.2 see I am able to ping so here as I configured DHCP for both, both VLAN I have done the configuration of inter VLAN routing by using router on a stick method as well right so that's why inter VLAN communication is happening and PCs are getting IP address from the separate VLANs so suppose if there are more than 10 VLAN or more than 100 VLAN no problem at all we can configure DHCP services for each VLAN just what we need to configure on router is sub interface so suppose there are 10 VLAN so on the router we need to create 10 sub interface okay guys so if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel guys please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye but always keep in mind if you are learning something from this channel make sure you have subscribed this channel right because if you are getting something now it's become your responsibility to support this channel to grow thank you guys thanks for watching